for Sunyi, the best. I had her eating out of my hand, and then I noticed my arm was missing. Like Holden, I don't feel like going into all that David Copperfield kind of crap. Although in my case, a little about my parents you may find more interesting than reading about me. Like my father, born in Brooklyn when it was all farms, ball boy for the early Brooklyn Dodgers, a pool hustler, a bookmaker, a small man but a tough Jew in fancy shirts with slick back patent leather hair a la George Raft. No high school, the Navy at 16, on a firing squad in France when they killed an American sailor for raping a local girl, a medal-winning marksman, always loved pulling a trigger and carried a pistol till the day he died with a full head of silver hair and 20-20 eyesight at 100. One night during World War I, his boat got hit by a shell somewhere off the coast of the icy waters of Europe. It sank. Everyone drowned except for three guys who made the miles-long swim to shore. He was one of the three that could handle the Atlantic. But that's how close I came to never being born. The war ends. His father, who's made some dough, always spoiled him, favoring him shamelessly over his two dim-witted siblings. And, and I mean dim-witted. As a kid, I always thought his sister reminded me of a circus pinhead. His brother, weak, wan, and degenerate looking, drifted around the Flatbush streets, peddling newspapers 